Hello everyone and welcome back to Video Editing 1 with Professor Harris. Today I'm going to show you how to work entirely with Avid Media Composer off of a flash drive. So, I have my flash drive plugged in here. It's titled Prop Harris 1. I'm going to go ahead and open it. Um, if you don't see your flash drive when you plug it into your computer, um, let's say you don't see it here in the sidebar or you don't see it on your desktop, on Mac at least, you'll come up here to Finder, you go to Settings, and then in Settings under General, you'll make sure all of these are selected. And under sidebar, you'll make sure all of these are selected as well. Awesome. So here we are in my Prof. Harris 1 flash drive. Your flash drive might say something different. It might not say anything at all. I don't know. It depends on whatever flash drive you're working out of. I'm going to need you to copy the name conventions identically onto your flash drive the way that you see them here in this video. So first we have Avid Media Files. Avid Space Media Files. Making sure that each of these words are capitalized. Inside the Avid Media Files, you're going to make a new folder called um, MXF. And inside the MXF folder, you're going to leave it blank. Avid is going to use this folder to store any and all imported media. That includes video, audio, images, whatever it may be. It's also going to store uh, your rendered effects, anything else that you're rendering. Um, and it's going to keep it here in your MXF folder. And it's going to create the uh, folders automatically inside this MXF document which is inside your avid space media files document folder on your flash drive so that's that that's the first one and then second thing you're going to make is com 343 video editing assignment one this is exactly how i'd like you to name it again um, and when you do the second project you're going to do it assignment two assignment three and we're going to continue going from there but for the sake of this class i'd like it to be the same all right inside this folder we're going to have four folders to start with, we have one Avid Media Composer project. I'm going to open this because this is where we're going to store our Avid project on the Avid Media Composer level. So when I launch Avid Media Composer and I create a new project, I'm going to tell it to save right in here. Again, this is for grading purposes, so I know exactly where it's going to be stored when I get your flash drive in my hand. Awesome. The second folder in our COM343 video editing assignment one is two assignment documents plus. So remember you have to make your video edit breakdown sheet and you're gonna include that video edit breakdown sheet here in this document. If you have other pieces of media that you created, um, let's say you use Photoshop to create a logo for your YouTube channel or um, made logos inside your video, let's say you used After Effects and you rendered some effects um, or you used Animate, you would include those folders here um, to get any extra credit or bonus points from me. You could also include reference slash inspiration images that you used. Remember, you're supposed to be collecting inspiration images from the media that you're consuming this semester, um, and you can show them here so I can see what you're working with. So, awesome. All right, we'll come back out again. And the next folder we're gonna have is your audio files. This is where you're gonna just put the audio. If you have sound effects, if you have music that you're gonna include in your project, this is where that would be saved. Next, we have video, this is where if so let's say you recorded on your cell phone or on a camera, um, you would take that media, that recorded media, and you would put it in here. I have screen recordings because that's what I worked with because I recorded directly off my computer, but these are my video files. If you had other um, sort of media that you were going to use, let's say you had, I don't know, uh, maybe text or titles, uh, special titles that you created, you could make a folder and you could name that titles and you could uh, include really anything else that you were going to use in your project. Okay, so that is everything. If I come back out to my Prof. Harris, um, that is everything I want you to include on your flash drive. If you're a little too lazy, I've included a folder here that I'm going to put on a Google Drive, so you could simply download this, and it will have all these folders already lined up for you. You can find the link for this in the description of this video. Let's get into Avid Media Composer now, and I'm going to show you how to uh, set the directory for where your Avid project will be saved. Now, if we're going to create a project, so this is our select project window, obviously. Um, if we're going to create a project and we're going to store it on a flash drive, the first thing we're going to do in our select project window is obviously select new project. Now, under new project, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick a directory for where this is actually going to be saved. So you'll select this little folder icon, and you can navigate in your sidebar down to where your flash drive actually is. Um, this is different than using the Avid user shared, whatever. We'll navigate down to your flash drive. And then here in our flash drive, 
Remember, under COM 343 video, we're going to go to one Avid Media Composer project. We're going to select this and we're going to hit open. And now it's going to save our Avid project into that folder. Okay, now we're going to name the project. Um, and this is where you're going to give your project a meaningful and final name for the project. Remember, I had talked about uh, making a video on how to play Minecraft according to a university professor. Um, I'm going to add that title here now. It's important to note, however, that MIDI Composer has a length that you can actually set. So if I paste this title in here, it's actually going to be too long. So we'll just we'll shorten it to Minecraft according to a university professor. And that will be the name that gets the gist of the video across, and that will be the name of our actual Avid project on a folder level. All right, we're going to set the format. Um, you should probably check whatever um, format your video was recorded in. Mine was recorded on my screen, which was a very high format in 4K actually. So I'm going to pick a 4K format. I've already selected one um, here, but yours would be a much lower format. Uh, it might not be depending on what equipment you used, but make sure that the format you're selecting for your project matches the uh, the camera native format that's on that your project was actually recorded with. Awesome. I'm going to leave everything else the same and I'm going to go ahead and hit create. Awesome. Now Media Composer has actually loaded and created that file onto my flash drive. If I go here and I go into my video editing assignment one and I go to one Avid Media Composer project, we're going to see Minecraft according to a university professor. The folder has been made through Avid Media Composer and can we can see our different bins and everything, all the different assets to our project. Now let's get back out here and we'll go back into Avid. Make sure you create the audio effects, um, sequences, titles, and video bins inside Media Composer. Make sure you're staying organized. I will be looking for that organization uh, here in Avid. Let's go ahead and bring some video though into our project. So I'll go ahead and uh, in our sequences, we, well, we'll just start by importing video. We'll open our video bin, make sure our video bin is open, and then we're gonna right click inside. We'll do input source browser, and we're gonna import both. We're gonna do import and link. We're gonna do both of the import options, but we'll navigate to our flash drive here on our drives. We'll go to our um, com uh, assignment one, we'll go to video and we'll select one of these videos. Let's do a smaller one and I'll do import. Now it's going to ask us if we want to uh, consolidate slash transcode. The answer is yes. And while we're waiting for this to import, uh, we can actually see if we open our prof Harris one, if we can see it, if we open our avid media files and that MXF, we can see now there's a number one folder and inside that is where, again, our imported media is being saved to right now. So it's importing that media onto this MXF Avid Media Files folder. Awesome. Cool. So that's finished now. Um, so we can see it. Our imported clip has appeared in our bin. Let's now, let's link uh, another clip. Um, I can't actually see what I'm looking at. So we'll pick something that looks nice. We'll do this one. Remember, you have the different views that you can see in the source, uh, yeah, your source browser. So I'll link this clip. I do recommend, do you see that? See how quickly that linked? Because your folders and things are going to stay on, stay on your flash drive, um, if you're trying to keep the file size down, especially with Avid Media Composer, um, I would definitely recommend linking your clips um, into your project and not importing them, especially because I know that you're not going to be mo moving these, right? Once you have your video folder, your audio folder, and all that's put into this COM 343 video editing assignment one folder, it shouldn't be moving. All right, awesome. Now, um, we can look at these clips. We can view them in our little timeline here. I can scrub through them. We can see what's going on in these different clips. Um, same with this one. We can scrub through. Um, but let's think now first. Uh, let's make a render. So again, when I was talking about renders, that folder I just showed you in the Avid um, Sorry, yeah, in the Avid Media Files, that one, that folder titled one on the MXF under the Avid Media Files, that's where it's actually saving uh, any imported and rendered uh, media that we're creating here in Avid Media Composer. So let's select this clip. We'll make a freeze frame, and I'm going to show you uh, quickly what it's going to look like when you get a quick uh, pop-up uh, menu. So this will come up, a select media drive. This wants to know where we're going to save it. And again, you're going to make sure that you're selecting your flash drive. You don't want to save it onto the computer's hard drive. If I import footage and I save it onto the computer's hard drive and then unplug my flash drive and go to another computer, 
I cannot expect to be reaccessing uh, the media that I've imported. It needs to be saved to to my flash drive. So mine's again Prof Harris. Yours could be something else. So I'm gonna hit OK, and then uh, I'm gonna select which bin this is gonna get saved into. I'll hit video and I'll hit OK, and now it's saving that uh, that quick freeze frame that I've created uh, on my flash drive. Cool. And we'll just wait for this to finish. But you will. Um, see that you know where to save um, little little menu pop up every now and again okay awesome so now we can see our freeze frame here and while we're here uh, don't forget to stay organized in your avid project make sure you've got your audio effects bin sequence titles video um, that's all very important I'm gonna be looking for those when I'm grading also in your timeline I'm going to be looking for you guys to be organized. Um, so that starts by opening your sequences. Um, we can right click, we can do new, new sequence. Um, you can also do shift command N and that will make a new sequence. We're going to name this something meaningful. So I'll do, I'll do Minecraft version one. This is my first version of this video. So I've got that. And I, when I double click that, that's going to open it here in my timeline. By default, Media Composer has a V1, an A1, and an A2 track already set up and made for you. I'm going to want you to have a minimum of two video tracks and a minimum of two audio tracks for this assignment. Um, again, if you hit uh, Command Y or Control Y on your keyboard, that'll make a new track. And we're going to name these now so that we're being ultra clear while we're working in Avid. Um, so on our, our V1, we're going to leave the same. Um, we're going to leave this the same. We'll just leave it as V1, but we could rename it. Um, and if we're going to rename it, we'll right click and hit rename track and we'll call this main um, or primary, whichever you prefer. But then on the V2, this is going to be our B roll or our cutaway. So we'll do B roll. And this is for any shots that we want to add above our main, um, our main track. And then we'll see that instead of our main. Um, so this would be reaction shots or whatever it may be. And then on our A1, we'll right click this. This is typically your dialogue track. So we'll name this dialog, we'll hit OK. And then our A2, if you have any sound effects or if you specifically have music, you would name this music. You can make more tracks for sound effects and the more organized you are, the more points you're gonna get from me. Don't forget to make sure that you're selecting these little windows here, especially the topmost. And then again, you're gonna see um, what's on your project from the top down. Um, I guess one last time, don't forget, I'm gonna put in the description of this video a link to a Google Drive where your USB will have everything you need uh, to set up. You could just simply open this and then drag and drop those files directly into your flash drive. Um, sweet. Yeah, the more organized you are, the more, uh, the more efficient your work will be and the better grades you'll get from me. And we have finally and swiftly made it here to the end of the video. I'm going to show you one last thing. When working on computers and working on different computers, if you're trying to navigate to your project on your flash drive, you'll first put in the flash drive and then you'll boot up Avid Media Composer. And then once you're here in Avid Media Composer, you're going to go to this directory in the project window. You're going to make sure you're on the in the select project window that you're on projects. You'll hit this little folder icon for browse and then you're going to navigate to the flash drive that you plugged into that computer. And then in your COM 343 video editing assignment one, you'll open that and then you'll select the one Avid Media Composer project and you'll just hit open. And it's going to reveal, we can see my Minecraft, if I slide this over, Minecraft according to a university professor video has appeared here. And all I have to do then is select and hit open. And that will open your project on a computer that, uh, on whichever computer you're working on. So, and this is, this is both on uh, Mac and PC. This is the same, same exact setup. So. You can be working off both. All right, that is the end of this tutorial video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to email me or message me with any questions. I'd be happy to answer them. Have a great day. Bye-bye.